In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a table in Elementor. And this is exactly what we achieve by the end of this tutorial. So to add a table in Elementor, we are going to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I hover on plugins, click on add new plugin. And the search plugins, I search for table press. And this is the plugin I'm going to use, table press, table in WordPress made easy. I click on install now. It is installed. I go ahead and activate. I click on skip and this way we create our tables. So I'll just go ahead and click on add new table. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it pricing. You can give it a description if you want. I'm not going to do that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make it seven rows and then the columns will be three. I click on add table. And here's the short code that I'll embed onto my page. So going down, this way I enter the content of the table. So the first thing I do here is enter the title. I make it features. And then under column B, it's going to be web agency. And finally, I'll enter orders for column C. Next, I come under features. And this way I begin to enter the features I want to enter in my table. The first feature is going to be turn around time. Since I'm creating this table for a web design agency, and the web agency, I enter six to ten days, and then under the orders, is going to be two to four months. Next, under features, I have total cost. One thing I can do, I can also go ahead and paste what I want to type like this. Similarly, I can equal paste in here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and enter the rest of the content and get back to you. All right, I've entered my content. Going down, I'll go ahead and save the changes. The next thing I do is go ahead and copy the short code from here. I copy it. Then I go to my website. I click on edit with Elementor. Scrolling down to the section where I want to add it. I want to add it after this particular section. So I go down right here on this section. I click on the plus icon and this way I add in my container. And what I do is go over to add element. Then I search for short code. I have short code element here. I drag it. Then I go ahead and paste it in here. That is the short code I copied. And this is awesome. I'll also add a heading for the section. So I go over to add elements and I drag in the heading elements like this on top. And this way I enter the text and I'm going to enter why choose us. So people will choose us because of our pricing. Scrolling up, I'll just copy the style from here. Then I go ahead and paste the style on my heading here. Paste style. Perfect. If I want it to look clean, I'll select the entire container. Then I go over to advanced. I unlink the values under margin. Then top, I add 100 pixels for top and then bottom 50 pixels. And this is how it will look like. Now if I update, let's take a look. And this is how my table will look like. And right here, you see that I have some features where I can easily select the number of entries I want to display. As you can see, at the moment, I don't have much. That's why you don't see any effect. If I also want to search, I can come right here. Then I can search for, maybe I want to search for content. And you see that I have website content right here. I can take it off. But if I don't want users to see all these parameters and down here i have a footer showing one to six of six entries and then navigation if i don't need all this let's see how we can take it off so i go back to the table editor going down to table features for site visitors this way we have sorting search and filter and then pagination if i don't want any of this i'll just go ahead and untick them what if I don't want users to have access to all these features? I can easily go ahead and select it from here to take it off. Then I go ahead and save the changes. Now, if I go to the front end and refresh, 
you see that everything on top right here for search and then the footer are gone perfect so that's it on how you can add a table in elementor if you found value in today's video click on the like button subscribe if you are new here and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss my future videos now if you want to learn how to create this entire website step by step stick around to watch this video on your screen right now keep watching and i will see you in that video